On today's home tour, we're looking at new construction in Lakeview Terrace. Today, we're at Juniper Ranch in Lakeview Terrace. Let's go inside and look at their model home. So today, I'm excited to check out the Plan B of Juniper Ranch. Again, we're in Lakeview Terrace in the East San Fernando Valley, nestled against the San Gabriel Mountains. So again, there's two floor plans. There's Plan A and Plan B. And today, we are looking at Lot 1, the model home, which is five bedrooms, a loft, four bathrooms, a two-car garage, a private yard, and approximately 2,888 square feet of this build-out. This one is listed for a million ninety-nine. Now, again, there's only two floor plans. That's quite different from most of the new construction. But again, here, there's only 13 home sites. They've already sold six of them. So there's not a lot of inventory left here. Now, it makes sense because there's not a lot of new construction taking place right now in the San Fernando Valley, let alone the East San Fernando Valley. So you have to kind of keep that in mind. So I think this is a great opportunity if somebody is looking for new construction in this price because the four bedrooms, they start at 949000 So make sure you stay tuned to the end. I'm going to tell you why this builder might be more advantageous than going with another builder with new construction. Now, there's always pros and cons to each, but we're going to cover that. Hey, this is Scott Himmelstein with the Scott Himmelstein Group. I've been doing this for almost 20 years. We love helping people like yourself buy new construction, buy, sell, invest here in Southern California. All right, so I'm really excited for this because I've been waiting to take tour of these guys for a while. Um, they're almost done. We're going to be building most of their home sites, but I'm going to get into that in a little bit also. Uh, make sure you tune, stay tuned at the end. I'm going to go into more detail and kind of some of the pros of why this really might make sense for a lot of people. All right, let's get back to the home tour. All right, so as you, let's back up here for a second. All right, so as you walk in right away, you're gonna have your one bedroom downstairs. So your one bedroom downstairs, obviously like all model homes, they have it nicely staged. Notice the LVP, the vinyl flooring, the vinyl plank flooring that on the flooring here. That is an upgrade if it's something that you wanted. And most of the houses are gonna be delivered to you standard with carpet. So they will be all carpet in, uh, except for the kitchen for the most part. So if you wanted to upgrade to LVP, you would have to go to their design center. And they actually have here at the model house some of the different colors of those different vinyl planks, depending on how you want to have everything set up. So I like that you have right here, you have one large great room area. You have your, like we see in all new construction, your oversized uh, kitchen island, and then it has the sink basin inside of it. They do have stainless steel appliances. They're from Samsung. Um, just a heads up, uh, these guys, the refrigerator is not included but they have one in here in the model home just to give you an idea. And then you do have your really nice pantry size in there. So this quartz uh, is standard. Um, you can get a different color. They have the light gray cabinet in here. And uh, very nice. Again, you get the large open space with your formal dining room and your living room right here. So as we circle around the, the, um, it's really a very wide open space, great for entertaining. And you got your, uh, your kitchen counter, the island counter uh, for a, kind of the focal point, and you got your dining room, but all look really nice. So, you know, we were getting back into talking about flooring. It seems to always come up. So one of the things that I, I really wanted to make sure that you guys know here that a lot of their home sites, um, you know, they're getting close to being completed. Most of them have the structural and design upgrades pretty much all done. Um, most of them, if they're, they're on hold right now, it's because they're on a flooring fold. So that would be the one thing you could go to the design center in Valencia and you could choose whether 
if you wanted something else be besides the LVP flooring, you could talk to them about it. But really the big one, it's either LVP or cart. But again, they do have an array of options uh, for you. Okay, so we've seen all of the downstairs uh, so far. Uh, as we go upstairs, um, the HOA is going to be $198 a month. There is no mellow roof, so that's always something nice, something that you have to deal with up in the Santa Clarita Valley. Here, you do not have that at all. What is it covered? Well, they don't have a lot of amenities. There's no clubhouse or pool, spa, or anything like that. It covers the pavers out front. Uh, you're going to have your separate uh, electrical and gas uh, meters to be able to make sure that it's not attached like maybe a, a condo or a townhouse would be. All right, so as we go into the first bedroom up here, that one has a very lovely walk-in closet. And again, as you can see here, they have the upgraded LVP flooring up here. So whether you get the four bedroom or the five bedroom, you will have this loft space. So this isn't something that you can convert to a bedroom, but it's nice, you know, again, a homework area, maybe an area for the kids to watch TV. Um, and then most importantly, uh, even though the light's not turned on, let's see if we can do that. There we go. Um, you got your upstairs laundry room. So since, th you know, most of your bedrooms, four of your five bedrooms are gonna be up here. So it makes sense that your laundry room would be here. This is the hallway bathroom with double sinks, your shower and tub. And very simple, but very nice. And here's your next bedroom, right adjacent to the hallway bathroom. All right, so also wanted to talk to you about the incentives. So their incentive uh, changed from week to week. Uh, so I don't wanna go into details because I know the changes. So if you're interested in knowing what their incentives are, reach out to us. Um, either call, send me a, a comment below. We're glad to kind of update you on what the incentives might be. So now we are in the primary bedroom right now. Okay, walking around. And then leads right into your private bathroom. So you have the separate shower and tub. So it's not a soaking tub, but still a pretty good size. And you know, to be honest with you, especially if you have young kids, uh, like I've kind of been going through the last few years, the private soaking tubs are really nice, but it's, it's much more difficult to give your kids a bath in that than something like this. And again, you've got your dual sink vanity, and then we'll go walk over to the walk-in closet right here. So pretty good size walk-in closet right here. All right, so you've seen a lot of the bedrooms and bathrooms, but I wanted to take you into this space. So this is your fifth bedroom right here, okay? Then you got your walk-in closet and mosey around here. This one also has its attached ensuite bathroom the shower in tub and the reason why I want you to take a look at this so this is the difference between the five bedroom and the four bedroom so a lot of times in new construction you will see that well if they don't have that fifth bedroom maybe they'll just use it as a, another space no so here it's either five bedrooms or four bedrooms there's nothing in between so the four bedrooms are 2,534 square feet. And again, the five bedroom is 2,888 square feet. This is where the difference lies. So if you're looking for that five bedroom home, uh, it, makes, uh, it makes a lot of sense. I mean, you're looking at about $150,000 difference in price. So if the fifth bedroom isn't as important to you and price is, and you want to be able to start at 949,000, which I think is a pretty good deal considering you know, how much the construction costs are in Los Angeles right now, over $300 a square foot for the most part. So I think when you look at that in its entirety, that, uh, you know, this, this is going to make sense for a lot of people. The fact that they've already sold six of the 13 floor plans uh, kind of uh, already indicates to us 
that, you know, hey, there's a demand for this. All right, let's go downstairs and we're gonna talk about a bunch of things, uh, in, including some of the exterior uh, setup. All right, so we're gonna walk outside right now as we go into the backyard. So again, new construction, like we say every single time, uh, you are not gonna be getting a house like this unless you buy the model home itself. You will be getting a, basically a dirt lot in the backyard. And this is just to kind of give you an idea. I will say that people really do like putting in the artificial grass. Now, something we haven't seen on our walkthrough tours, and this is required uh, in LA County, is the rain barrels for new construction. But you don't see it most of the time they have it removed. Um, but yeah, it is something that is required. So don't be alarmed or surprised when you see it. A lot of people don't like it for cosmetic reasons. But hey, you know what? After all this rain that we have received this winter and especially here recently in the spring, not necessarily a bad thing. You could use it to be able to water your garden or however you may decide to use it. But this is a really nice space. I like how it kind of wraps around. And then you got, you know, these guys have it set up with a built-in barbecue and your zen-like fountain. And it continues to wrap around. Like you have plumbing set up in this spot right here. So in case you wanted to start your garden, uh, but let's just say you had a, a pet in the backyard, it'd be really nice. Right, so it's, it's a perfect amount of space and nothing too elaborate. All right, so I want to go out show outside and show you a few things. Because um, we were just talking about the difference between the four bedroom and the five bedroom. So in the four bedroom, right, you kind of don't see that space over the garage. And as I turn around here, right, that's your fifth bedroom. So that's the difference between the five bedroom and the four bedroom. All right, so let's go walk down here. I'll show you a little bit more of the community. And they have nine guest parking spots. Two of them are in the kind of the middle of it, but every house is going to have a two car garage and then another single parking space. So really you have three cars, or th I should say three parking spaces, and two of them uh, are actually uh, covered or inside the garage, and then you have that third spot that's outside. So I think a lot of that'll really appeal to a lot of people, just being able to have that extra spot. Um, and then obviously, because there's no driveway in the community. So for someone who's looking for new construction, again, there's not a lot of options in the San Fernando Valley, unless you want to be moving up to that kind of one five, one six, but most of those, you have to it kind of require the upgrades 10 to 15% more. So here, everything's already pretty much been chosen for you. And maybe the only thing that you have to decide about is whether or not to upgrade the floor. So they have a small park within the community. Uh, great for maybe your dog to run around, your child for an outdoor area. And other than that, you know, it's great because they're single family detached homes and there's only 13 of them. And it's just big enough where you have a, you know, space from your neighbor to give you that, that privacy that you may want. So you can see down there at the very end is where they have a few more guest parking, uh, guest parking spots. Just got a special treat for you right now. And that is, this is a four bedroom. So again, this is on a flooring fold right now. And so you kind of get a better idea. Everything else is ready to go and kind of run upstairs. Got to fix that smoke detector battery, but look, none of the flooring, everything else is in. All the plumbing, all the structural, all the design upgrades, literally the only thing that's holding this home back right now from being completed is the flooring. So, kind of as we take a look around, there's your laundry, all the hookups are there, there's your hallway bathroom. So everything is in right now. And then again, 
This would be your primary bedroom. Looking at it all finished, unfinished, but technically finished. The only thing that really needs to be done is the flooring. And here, just kind of adding a little bit of cabinetry to kind of finish things off. So I thought you kind of like to get a different perspective because so many times we only see things through the eyes of the model. And this just kind of really gives you an excellent idea of what the house looks like prior. Because all 13 home sites, the structure itself has already been built. And we'll just take a look outside really quick. As you can see, there's no landscaping at all. So you would have to be responsible for coming up with the design with your architect of what you would like. So that's the four bedroom. And again, the four bedrooms with the loft, the three bathrooms, two car garage. Again, approximately 2,534 square feet. They start at 949,000. This one, uh, this is lot nine at 989,000. So where is Lakeview Terrace? Well, Lakeview Terrace is about 25 miles north of downtown Los Angeles. It's extremely close to Pasadena, La Cañada, Tahunga, Sunland, Glendale, Burbank, where a lot of people are moving from out of those areas over here because what you get for a two bedroom, one bath bungalow in Pasadena, you could easily have here. So that's why people find this community planned unit development very attractive. Okay, so you're probably asking yourself, well, hey Scott, I don't know if this is for me. Yeah, I, I totally get that. Um, I think that when you were looking at this development in particular, I think the big aha is going to be if you're comparing it to other homes, um, especially you're being surrounded by older homes. And I think what you look at the, the price point of those older homes, and a lot of them are not remodeled, and what it costs to remodel uh, right now here in 2024, you know, it's quite expensive. And so this is going to really appeal to the buyer who wants something that they can literally just move right in and they don't have to do anything to the house. Uh, again, you're only looking at a community that has 13 home sites uh, total. So there's not a lot of availability left. It's not like some of them where you have over 500 uh, home sites in the community. So I think if you're looking for new construction in the San Fernando Valley, uh, under 1.1, uh, and especially if you only need the four bedroom, you're looking at 950,000. This is going to appeal to a lot of people. It's going to make sense for a lot of people for a lot of different reasons. And then again, especially if you take a look at the incentive. So as always new construction, um, you know, we always recommend that you have a real estate agent uh, working on your behalf to kind of negotiate on your behalf and kind of walk you through the process so that way you can see what things you should be asking for, because a lot of times people just don't know the right things to ask for. So if you're interested in this community or any other, uh, feel free to reach out. You can send me a DM, or you can put a comment below. Put a comment below if you think this is a community that would work for you. Love to hear your feedback and uh, look forward to seeing you on the next video.